Hey YouTube, it's Queen Pam Elon QP. And recently I bought a shell this die in a haul. And I wanted to show you what it actually does. It really does produce paper brads, which would work well if you're trying to put them under something or in a book that where you don't want bulk. And it was they were really simp uh, simple to make. Let me get my glue open and I'll show you how quick it is to make one. Let's make sure the glue is flowing. Yep, it's flowing. And do I have a big one? Yeah, here's a medium sized one cut. It the they're all together, which is nice, and you get six with uh running each of the dies through. So what you do first. Let me get that out the way so you can see what I'm actually doing is I like to put my finger. Let me see if, if I can switch to my other camera. So what I do is put my finger right up next to the round part and bend. And then do it again on the other side and bend. And then I'm going to put them together like this. and press down and that'll get you your second bend across the back like a regular bread right so the way to make it hold is to grab another piece i think this is the right size okay they match up so yeah that's the right size if i can get it picked up and I did and so what I'm going to do now is put some glue on it and I find that it's actually easier to glue the bigger piece so I'm put some glue on the bottom of there and then put this over the top now this is a lot of work for um you know, because brads are relatively inexpensive, but I kind of like engineering type dyes and dyes that are unique and do things. So, and then I use my reverse tweezers and just set it aside. And by the time I'm ready with the next one, it's dry enough to come off of the um, tweezers. So that's that. I have some other things I want to show you. I saw on Brutus Monroe's website or somebody's website, they had um, these shimmer splashes, and I couldn't find a video on them anywhere. I didn't see. I looked and looked and I got all kinds of other stuff, but not these. First of all, I thought they were going to be bigger. They were uh, $3.99, which is not bad. Uh, the white was $4.99. Uh, there was a package deal on these four. So I got them Christmas colors because I like to shimmer. I also have some of his aqua pigment. And I'm thinking. That's what's in these, at least for the gilded and the sterling. So when these run out, I will um, use those. I have some black paper here so that we can test them. The thing that's cool about them, I think, is that they come with a brush. I haven't played with these. I'm opening them with you right now. And we are going to see. Oh, yeah. I'm going to like that. Nice, small drops. I don't have to mix it. I don't have to do anything. Okay, that was sterling. Let's bring it up. Looks white on this black paper, but um, it actually is silver to my naked eye. Let's try the white, and then maybe that will... 
you'll be able to see the difference. So I don't know. Oop. That one gave me a line I didn't want. So as always, test not on your final project so you don't get any oopsies. And I think you can see the difference between the white and the sterling now. At least I can. Let's do some colors. We'll give it a shake because I know I have to shake up that aqua pigment. And you're right on my paper. I took off a little bit, so hopefully I can avoid the big. Yeah. This is going to be very convenient to like travel with or go to a crop with or a play date, whatever you like to call them. And then there's green. I'm just going to do it like fingernail polish because that's the type bottle it reminds me of. Wipe off the sides. Might have wiped off too much. Or is this one not gilded? No, it's gilded. Let me shake it a little bit. Okay, I see some green now. This is going to be very handy. The only thing I wish is that the bottle was bigger. There's the green and the gold. One last one. Give it a shake. There's no balls in there, so hopefully that's not going to be necessary. And the red. Don't have to liquid it. You know, add what liquid it. Don't have to add any water to make it more liquid. It's ready to go. And there was one color that I didn't buy. It was a pink. The only thing I would hope for now is a blue. Uh, you know, like a frosty metallic blue. And there you go. So that, that was a new product. And I also have been dying to try his gilded embossing powder. So I they had a, a combined item of these two which was a little cheaper than buying them separately. So this is Gilded Sparkle. And then this is Gilded, um, the regular Gilded. And they gave me a free gift. I don't know what it is, so we'll have to heat it up and see. And the other thing that I bought was a camouflage stencil because my husband and brother-in-law are soldiers, retired. And this envelope was in there with lots of goodies. Well, a lot, not okay, with goodies. So I got some foilables. And I think there's a woman, woman with an afro, uh, and two other designs. That was very generous. And then this ribbon, which looks like May Arts ribbon to me. You know, their their ribbon is really almost like the standard. Their stuff was so good. Don't even know if they're still in business. Maybe they are if this is that. Yep, thick, luxurious, and free. Even better, right? Not a big ribbon user, but maybe I'll find some way to uh, use these if I can get it back in the, go back in its container. And I think that was the extent of the freebies. Yes. So three things free. Let's heat this up and then I'll be back. I don't think you need to watch me heat it. I think I can just heat it and then come back. All right. Gilded sparkle on the right. Someone was detected at the and driveway side. Gilded on the left. In real there you go. You can see the difference. There's the sparkle in the sparkle. Maybe. There's definitely uh, little bits of glitter in that one. You can see it in the bottle, and I can see it in real life. And this one is really gold and shiny. And I think I just got some white 
Someone was detected at the in the um, as a freebie. So I think I'll be happy with both of these. Using them on cards. There you can out of focus see the glitter. Oh, excuse me. Or up close. I can stop wiggling. And the white. Up close once more. And that's not the fault of the embossing powder. That's the fault of the stamper. So as always, I leave you in the hands of the creator. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. Bye.